All right, yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be working on the E36 M3 once again. I have a day off work so I can get some parts on the car. My goal today is to get the front bumper off, get the lip installed, get the inner and outer tie rods done um, with the new boots and everything. And uh, I wanna reinforce the front strut towers. I have the OEM BMW plate, so I'd like to do all that today. I don't think I'm gonna get it all done but it's the only day out of the week that I have time to work on this car. So whenever you guys see me upload a video, it's basically when I work on this car. So that's that just goes to show how I don't really touch this car that often because I can't, uh, I just don't have the time. Um, in other news, I will be making like a completely separate video updates and 2021 plans for the M3 and this YouTube channel. Um, but other than that, let's get you guys a cold start after three weeks. Also, I got a new microphone. So if you can hear it, awesome. I don't, I haven't had a microphone in forever, so hopefully it sounds better. So what I'm going to be doing first is pulling this bumper off because if you guys can see, it doesn't line up here. It's not flush, but you go on to the other side and it's flush. So we're going to be fixing that. Also pulling the bumper off to install the lip. And then while well, the bumper is off the car, I'm going to go ahead and jack this car up in the front, pull the wheels off, get the inner and outer tie rods dealt with, and the front strut tire reinforcement. That should be good. I don't think this is going to take that long, but we will find out. Alright guys, uh, drop down in the comments if you know an easier way to uh, jack this car up from the front. What we're going to do is um, I'm going to take the bumper off first and then I'm going to get to all this. But this is kind of like, not that hard, shouldn't be. But uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, so we made a quick little discovery. I don't think this bumper has ever been off of the car and it's 212,000 mile life. Uh, so we found this rat's nest here. It is like a rusty spliced wire that goes, I don't even know, I tried to find out where it went, probably from the harness somewhere. It gets spliced into this green wire which goes into an OEM BMW air duct piece. So if you guys know what it is, at first because it was yellow I thought it was an airbag sensor. If you guys know what it is, please let me know, I have no idea. But I'm going to pull the uh, lip off the bumper over there and we're going to test fit the lip. All right, so me and Cole are currently finishing up the lip here. We, uh, it came with 3M tape, like the super strong 3M. So we just heated it up, cleaned this surface off so it would make a clean bond. And now we're just putting the self tappers back in. As you can see, they included a pre-drilled hole. So it just goes back into the factory locations for your factory lip. So this is a really good lip. I'll put the link in the description for it. If you're interested in buying it, it's LTW style. You'll see it on the car uh, when it's done, so. Uh, I don't have wrenches for this. Where'd it go? Um, this right here on the tie rod, I don't have a wrench for that. Not thin enough, they're too thick. They don't really fit in between the slot. And that's the last step to what we're doing with the car today. And then we can put it back together. We're gonna get in the E92 and we're gonna go get the wrenches from the shop. Oh God, it's so much nicer than my car in here. So, Cole recently picked up a uh, 2008 BMW E92 M3. And it's a stick, it is a stick, so I mean, no DCT bitches. <laughs> uh, but it's Interlagos blue, it's a really cool color, it's a really cool spec, it's got the uh, gray interior. And um, it's got an exhaust, wheels, it's got good shit. It's really tasteful. All right, so once again, 
Like I said, I did get the new mic, so hopefully stuff sounds better on the new mic. We just need those tools. The M3 is gonna be done in a second. Hopefully we'll be able to go shoot after this. Um, we just have to throw that bumper on. I wanna align it a little bit. And the front has been reinforced. We reinforce the front. We just drop the coilovers down. And now the tie rods, and that's it. And we're gonna get some food and those wrenches, so. Hi guys so we're back um it's about 13 days into 2021 so i don't remember when i filmed last so i'll have to look back at the clips i don't think it was too long but time flies when you don't film um the last time i touched the car was actually on camera so i will uh, go over what i've done and the m3 is in the garage it's not going to be nice lighting out here because there are cars that would have to be moved and i'm not doing that right now because i can't drive the car right now and i'll tell you why it seems to be a common theme um with this car is it just doesn't drive but i'm going to explain why and i'm going to explain what the future holds for it um because there's a few things that need to be done before i can like comfortably go drive the car all right well the lighting isn't going to be great in here anyways uh i still am planning on getting a spacer back here just because that wheel is not that great uh the, the gap here it's good because it doesn't rub. I do want to pull it out a little bit more. This wheel needs to come out a little farther for that perfect fitment. Um, I put a new trunk badge on here. Shout out Cole for providing that. It's a little fucked up, but less fucked up than the last one. Um, other than that, let's go over to what we did over here. Well, it's literally super dark in here. Anyways, uh, we flipped these uh, camber, or see these two bolts for to align the camber. Um, they have three holes. So you can get the most camber by putting these two bolts in the closest two holes to the uh, engine. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Um, we flipped those so both of them match because when we installed them, one was good like for max camber and the other one wasn't that max camber. So we fixed that, flipped that. We added the little strut tower, OEM BMW strut tower reinforcement piece. That wasn't that hard. All we had to do was jack the car. Um, unbolt the top three nuts and then uh can't remember what else we did but you definitely have to snake it in there it wasn't that easy um the alignment is looking decent i mean this is a eyeball alignment so as you can see or you may not be able to see the wheel still pops out a little bit um it's not perfect so that's an eyeball alignment for you i mean I need to get the car actually aligned soon. I haven't made an appointment yet. Plan on doing that uh, Friday, so two days from now, hopefully. I just need to find somewhere with a pit that'll actually be able to do it. And then uh, lastly, well, actually we did the uh, tie rods too. We did inner and outer tie rods. I replaced the boots. Um, so now, I mean, that's why the alignment was all fucked. So I had to uh, realign it myself, kinda. And then we got this lip on here, which is, I'm pissed about the sliding, but I can't move this whole car out right now. Anyways, with the lip, I do have to move this car up. I gotta raise it up a little bit. I just can't drive it like this. I mean, I can get like a foot. It's got about a foot, like of my feet. So like like three inches or two inches, whatever. It's, it's really not, it's not, it's not, high enough to get out of the driveway which is kind of a bummer again i apologize that you can't see shit um that's i just can't i'm not gonna pull the car out but there's a lot more that needs to be done i'll be making a separate video i keep saying that every video i post i keep saying i'll make an update video but i really will be making an update video soon on uh what i'm going to do for 2021 um there's a lot of stuff on the list it's just a matter of fact of what needs to come first i really want to clean the car up it really I want to get all new trim, all the weather seals, all the weather stripping, and but that stuff's expensive. It's like 300 bucks a side. It's 
that's one of those things where I kind of have to search until I find the right deal because I'm not about to go spend 300 bucks on each side and then I got to get front and back and blah 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 so that's one of those things where it's an old car it's that stuff is gonna have to wait for a while um, on top of that I'm thinking about getting bucket seats for the car I know it's a controversial thing because I have really mint dove Vaders in there but I mean I would hold on to the Vaders I wouldn't sell them I mean other than that there's not much else that's gonna be happening immediately but now that that lip is on there, I really want to get the uh, fancy wide V3 because it would complete the uh, low appeal and the ground effects of the car, if that makes sense. As in terms of side skirt extensions, whatever, I'm considering making a set. Uh, I have a friend that made a set and they look fine. Or I'll just find some cheap ones because I know if I get carbon ones, somebody's going to step on them or I'll step on them and then boom, there goes your carbon, whatever. Also, I want to shout out uh, Josh here. He has made his, dropped his first little bit of merch. So I decided to support as you should too. If you watch his videos or you just watch other E36 content or if you're looking for other E36 content, I'll uh, drop his channel down below. Uh, the reason I bought this is because this car specifically is kind of was my inspiration to finalize like getting an E36 M3 if that makes sense. It was it was like the car I saw where I was like, yeah, I wish I could have that. And then I fucking got it. So that's why I got the merch. Came a little distressed. I'm not going to lie. Came a little cracked and uh, peeled or whatever, but I can't get that mad. It's somebody's first merch drop. I eventually want to put my car in a shirt. It's not going to be for a while. Um, but other than that, I think uh, that might be it. I mean, the car is solid for now. Anyways, guys, thank you for the constant support on my channel. It's not as big as, um, you know, other creators, whatever, but 2021, I would really like to at least hit 1,000. Uh, we're halfway there almost. We got like 420 something, so that's sweet. Keep supporting, keep, you know, subscribing, like the videos. But the most important thing to me is not about the numbers, it's more or less uh, the feedback. So I'm looking for feedback. If you guys have any suggestions, what videos to make. Um, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, let me know. I'm, you know, I'm open to suggestions for videos because, you know, a lot of times when the car, I don't have parts for it or, you know, it's just, I'm MIA is most likely, I have the time to film sometimes, but sometimes there's nothing to film. So if you guys have ideas, I would love to hear them. Thank you guys for watching another video. 2021 is supposed to be a really good year. Um, so let's make it a good year. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Uh, and that's about it. Peace.